Hi, I'm Maya. Because of the pandemic lockdowns, I started riding my bike. It hasn't been easy. It made me wonder, how do we build back better for healthy air and a healthy planet? According to my friend Tina, a fellow biker and a government worker, four billion people in the region are exposed to unhealthy levels of air pollution. Tina believes that we can lead the transformative action towards better air quality through the following initiatives. Building back better. National recovery plans should prioritize transformative measures. A green, low carbon recovery could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 25% by 2030, helping address the air pollution that impacts the health of people and the planet. These measures also have the potential to create millions of new jobs and $3.6 trillion of additional revenue by 2030 through Nature Positive Solutions. So far, only 18% of the announced recovery spending can be considered green. Commitments to Carbon Neutrality Air pollution and climate change are inextricably linked. Ahead of COP26, the recent pledges for a healthy, resilient, zero-carbon recovery through the Race to Zero campaign could also bring significant benefits to air quality and improve the health of millions in the region. Strengthened cooperation. Air pollution is a shared responsibility that transcends city, provincial, or national borders. We must all come together to reduce emissions from multiple sources and ensure the health of our communities and ecosystems. We must work together at all levels, industries, and sectors to prioritize and invest in clean air solutions to protect our health and protect our environment.